It was really blowing today. The ocean's going to be rough as bricks. Denny's already down there. Results were pretty good yesterday. It's uh, 58, mostly cloudy. That's about right. You can see it's cloudy everywhere. We're headed to the land of Nada for Surf Church Sunday. I got the uh, 90 degree top on today. I'll explain more about that soon. Shut off, you turkey. His bricks. That's the bay. Right till we get to the ocean. Got five minutes to go, I guess, to get to the parking spot. I uh, wanted to give you a heads up on uh, a couple things. Nada has uh, produced fairly well the last two days. Denny had a good day here yesterday. He didn't find any rings, but he found lots of targets and clad. He did find a ring for a fellow whose daughter lost it in the dry sand. Yesterday playing, the ring came up and he found it like 10 or 15 seconds. He had a nice little return. Uh, beaver hunted the bay, and the bay was not like we expected. Now, Friday, Denny came down here, and Denny found a nice silver ring. I, I got some pictures attached at the end. You'll be able to see them. And another good day on clad, Friday. So that's why we're kind of in a rush to get down here today with all this wind. And we hope it's improved even more. Now, Big John, the guy that lives north of us, he hunts, you know, he hunts down here with us a lot. It's a long drive when he hunts, but there's a beach in between us in Hampton called Buck Road. And he hunted it yesterday, and the results were poor. But Friday, he found a nice, uh, I think he found a copper junk ring, and then he found a nice gold man's band with channel diamonds in it. You know, the common gold band that we find that got three or four diamonds that run diagonally through the center of it. He found a nice one of those. And there's a picture of that that's going to be in here. And that's the only report I got. Gary went from Gary hunted the bay and didn't hardly find anything the same day Beaver did. A different location, of course. Uh, I don't know. I hope uh, we find some taquitos or something down here today. Stand by. Surf Church, land or not on. Stand by. We're inbound. I see something I don't like up here. Stand by. I see Denny laying on the ground. I see police. I see. Beavers, beavers up here. What's happened to Denny? Stand by. I'll get back to you in a minute. Shit. He looks bad. I mean, he looks bad. He's, he's better than the one first found. Beaver found Denny laying in his wash. Something happened to him. He's okay. He's alert now, but I don't know. I guess we'll know more soon. Well, I'm taking my 12 cent. I'm going out of here. <clears throat> and my fishing bait. Beaver said he was going to move up to the northern. <clears throat> I may go up to where the buttons were. Hunt around there for a while. Maybe. Then I'll go check on Danny, see how he's making it to carry him to the hospital. 
Mm. I know he didn't look very good. Pale. I mean, he was pale as I ever seen him. A live person. If he was any time, <coughs> stand by. I had to get out of that wind. Beaver said they saw him. <clears throat> Beaver was coming up the beach and Denny was going the other way. They were about a block or so apart. <clears throat> Beaver said he stopped to dig a target. And when he looked up, Denny was laying in the wet wash, waves washing on him. That's all we know. <clears throat> he, was, he wasn't responsive when they first got there. <clears throat> but him and a bystander that pulled him out of the water called 911 and I had just come on the scene when they got there. So I guess we'll know more later. I'll keep you in the loop. Stand by. Now, <clears throat> I want to bring you up to speed on a new word. A friend of ours, who many of you know well, has come up with a new term in the scoop business. It's called bite. B-I-T-E, bite. Now bite is, if I can get this thing to sit here, bite is the distance from the tip to the front of the top. Bite. You need to come, this word is going to become more, you're going to hear about this more, more and more now because of something. And I can't tell you anything beyond that, but bite. Hold on there, Wynn. This scoop was designed originally to have a three inch top and a seven inch bite. But as it turned out, it turned out to be a four inch top. So that makes the bite only six inches. The Stava scoops are three inch tops and seven inch bite. Bite. Stand by for more. Later. You're going to like it. I'm going to try to know the zone now for a minute, see if there's anything up this way. Stand by. 1401. 1401. Uh oh, I see a change. We try Gray Matter City. We haven't been to Gray Matter City in a couple of months. It's a uh, Gray Matter City, aka Seagull Bluff Drive. That's what they're doing the construction by the bridge. Maybe they've dug up some stuff. Maybe there's some Gray Matter laying around. Stand by. Rough on the bay. Just two bigger coal ships. I see some wind surfers. Stand by. First scoop. Looks like a little baby split shot. Or a buck shot or something. Alrighty then, stand by. 12, 
12.35, but it's a big target, big like a beer can or something. Got it. Looks like another piece of lead to me. Yep. Egg sinker. I think I think there's gonna be some gray matter here today. Shut off, you piece of crap. I wonder if Jack will play with that or not. He'll eat it up, probably. Let's we'll take it back to him anyway. Roundup. Not much at nada. Dog tags from nada. One quarter, two nickel, two pennies, I think, from nada. Then I moved to the northern side of nada. That's where the dog tags came from. And I moved to Gray Matter City, and we haven't been for a while. And you can see why we call it Gray Matter City. Because the Gray Matter was there today. And that's a cruddy penny. Now, the important part, Denny. I got two emails I'm going to uh, attach to the uh, bottom of the uh, post. And I don't know what to tell you other than what I know, and that's just a little bit. They finally got him in a room today, about an hour ago. I think they're going to hold him for uh, the rest of the night. At least that's what his wife told us. Uh, CAT scan was okay. They're going to do some heart work. and you'll, you'll be able to see the email. I can't remember what else she said, but something. So we'll have to see how he's doing. But it sounds initially like he's doing okay. From the first response anyway. Beaver said it was a scary thing. He was digging a target and he looked up down the beach and there was Denny laying in the surf. Waves were crashing on him. Mm. He said he got down there and a guy come off the beach. A person was just walking on the beach and helped him pull him up in the, out of the water, you know. Okay. You know as much as I know, or you will know. I'll keep you updated when I hear more. Say a prayer for him. See you later.